Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist Web Development Roadmap and here I'm covering each and everything about web development starting from very beginning how website works, how browser works then HTML5, CSS, JavaScript and then further all other concepts. Okay, so we are starting with basic HTML5 how to write basic HTML5 and how actually these website works like when you hit flipkart.com, mintra.com on your browser, what actually happens? It will actually try to see where this, where what is the remote server for this particular website. It will, it will convert your domain name. What is domain name? Amazon.com, flipkart.com, these are domain names. It will convert domain name into the IP. Then it will talk to your DNS servers, okay, where this server is residing, okay. Once it, re it got the server location, then it will try to fetch the, the documents like HTML documents, CSS, JavaScript, all other things it will fetch from there. Okay. So what is HTML5? HTML is hypertext uh, markup language which browser understands. Once browser reads the HTML5, it converts that into something on the UI. Okay. It creates the HTML skeleton, right? Basic HTML5 tags you can see. Here it contains HTML inside that you have a head and body. Body will have all your required tags like div, h1, span tag, ul, li. There is a huge list of tags which you can put inside body. In the head, if you wanted to put styles, scripts, all these will go inside a head tag. Okay, so how generally a website works? Like if you are looking for scrimba.com, right? So you will type scrimba.com on your browser. Now, browser will send a DNS query. Okay, what it will do is it will try to find out where is this IP of this scrimba.com. Okay, once it receives, okay, I got now the server location and I can fetch the data from there. Then it will fetch this HTML, CSS and JavaScript from that remote server. Okay, CSS, HTML, JavaScript. Okay, then browser will read it and browser will show the output to you. Okay. So this is how web, web development works. Each website is residing on some remote server. You hit Amazon.com, it will fetch the HTML document for the Amazon.com with some JavaScript and styles. Okay. Now what is HTML? HTML provides these different tags, H1, paragraph, span tag, link, header, footer, sections, layouts, all these tags. This allows your browser to understand. So browser will read these tags and it, it will create a skeleton skeleton contains head body and in your full page layout it will create a header body footer sidebar new bar all these di different things it will cover now it will also apply css to beautify the content which it is going to show okay so you can say that life without javascript and css looks like this particular guy which is being shown now if you apply css and javascript it, it will it will beautify itself and finally it will look like this because now we have applied CSS cascade style sheet which talks about adding a color background color font color font size all these things to beautify and make it more presentable so whatever the document like even if you written a blog if you if your blog is nothing but simple text which is look like this it doesn't look good right now what you will do is you will start adding the styles which is background color, font color, font family, font size and make this document more presentable so that you can get more audience. Right. So there are two things right. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. CSS is applying the styles on top of it. JavaScript is adding dynamic behavior on your content. Like you wanted to click on some button something will happen. If you click on button your page will become wider or your uh, user will user will be able to add comment on your blog all those kind of a dynamic things will happen with the help of javascript which you are writing so javascript you will be writing script css you will be writing as cascading style rules html is simple you are writing which is a document right so javascript will provide the brain and muscles to the website allowing it to interact and re-render the html5 content right so what all things we have in the html5 we are going to cover in multiple modules html5 b6 and advanced level so we'll talk about boilerplate tags declarations in the html5 then what how you can do the 
capacity of nesting of these tags, metadata, linking, scripts, styles, how to add the ID class tag name to a div, I mean how to define the attributes and all, how to embed the image and video URLs, ordered list, an ordered list, building uh, building these forms tables form validations creating these layouts having header footer different sections these are the these all things are on agenda because this is the first video of html5 before that we may also need to learn how the browser works and how we are actually resolving this website name into the ip and how we are able to fetch the data on the browser okay so let's get started. I will be starting with HTML5, but before that we will just cover these basic things about web development. And then we will start with the basic modules of HTML5. We will start understanding the different tags. These are nothing but tags, h1, div, body, head, HTML, right? Now attributes, if you are adding a style, then it will become attributes to this, right? So HTML, you can also add an ID. You can also add a class name right all these are attributes you will be adding so you will be understanding div adding the styles using ids or class names so this is the simple tag you have created now you wanted to apply some styles right so you will put a either an inline style either a, you will be writing a styles in a separate file which is a css file then you will be adding that css file in the head tag or you might be also wanted to write some javascript code and then you will 